InfoRiver also helps you manage aggregations. Again, this is something you do not have to write a formula for, but if you go to the insert tab, there is something called aggregation. Uh, by default, it's set to, I believe, native or some, I don't remember. I was playing around with it. And native is basically whatever you have defined in Power BI. And um, so when you say some more native is going to give, add all the values and show it to you. But let's say I want to see all the average of the leaf nodes, right? Leaf node is applicable when you have multiple hierarchies. It's automatically going to calculate the average of all these values and give you the total, right? It's no more a summation of these items. And you can also go and apply custom aggregation for each measure. So I go here to manage columns and then I click on this call and by default, we have applied average of leaf nodes to all these measures, but I can change it to some, change it back to some, and maybe I'm going to show a maximum margin or a minimum margin. And then automatically this measure is summed up, whereas it gives you the minimum value, which is 165. All right. And again, all of this is supported by the formula engine and uh, the only one thing is this aggregation has to be really, you have to be really careful when you use aggregation, especially when you do the average calculations, because if at the data model level, you filter certain things out, let's say I filter two countries out, it's not going to give you the correct values. So you need to use aggregations very carefully, but when you exactly know what you're doing, this is of great help. And uh, there is also something called vis visible rounding, and I'm going to show this to you uh, right now. So let's take two examples. I have one example in row one, second example in row two. So I have a set of expense items, and for simplicity, I'm taking the same value here. And they all add up to 62.94. Similarly, I have revenue, cost of goods sold. When I add them up, it's going to give me 2.4. But when you start rounding these values, it's going to show uh, 10 for each of the individual items, and the total is going to be 63, right? Every line item is rounded individually, but visually these are not going to add up. Similarly, it's going to say the revenue is four, cost of goods is minus one, the operating profit, however, is two. And there is one principle when it comes to financial statements. And again, if you are a financial analyst and you're into building financial statements, like an income statement or balance sheet, uh, the standard is that these values need to visually add up. And again, we are taking simple numbers, right? But we are talking in the order of thousands or millions. Even in that case, there is a standard that uh, for external reporting, it has to visually add up, even though the total value is going to be a little bit off. So uh, InfoRiver does that. You see all the values, uh, the aggregation has been set to a visible rounding. Uh, which I just showed you. So when you do that, it first rounds everything and then it adds it up. It rounds everything and then it visually adds it up. For example, when I click on this, and then if I go to insert, and if you look at aggregation, it shows you a visible rounding. Right, very, very helpful because I know some of the uh, specific niche uh, financial software, accounting software help you do that. But it went, when it comes to reporting tools, it can be pretty hard. And uh, I think if I understand it correctly, it's a key requirement, you know, when you prepare a major financial statements, because if you look at any annual report, the numbers need to add up, even though there can be some rounding errors.